Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rex for here, and welcome back to kind of a follow-up tutorial, I suppose, on my FL Studio tutorial I did a while back. And uh, I guess you kind of uh, categorize this as a bonus tutorial or add-on tutorial, I don't know, something like that. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use some mixer tracks. So mixer tracks are really cool and kind of enhancers, I suppose, onto your uh, your packs here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go down to my acoustic guitar pack, and these should be deep default in the regular pack so you should be able to find this under acoustic or uh, excuse me guitar and acoustic guitar number one so I'm just going to go and click and drag the very first sound here over in our little pattern sequencer now what I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead and right click go piano roll and I'm just going to make a simple let's see let's go down a little bit deeper there we go just make a simple little line there on a piano roll all right so that sounds pretty cool pretty subtle now what I'm going to do to this is click on it once and we get these channel settings and I'm going to go over here to these, that was kind of a weird way to pronounce that, I'm going to go over here to this little uh, <laughs> drop down box here that says assign free mixer track. Now I'm going to click that once and of course the shortcut for that is control L as it wonderfully displays. Now here we have this giant mixer kind of thing here, this giant box to kind of uh, change up all the options and such for this. Now I'm going to go over here to the right of this and click on one of these drop down arrows and you'll notice when we do that we get a whole bunch of various presents and stuff to add on to these. Now I'm just going to kind of uh, do one of these as an example just because I've used it the most and there's a whole bunch of these here to preview so I'm not going to have all the time in the world to do all these because that would just make this video a whole lot of a long time but you guys can go ahead and kind of delve into these on your own but I'm going to go and gonna choose hardcore for now. Alright, now you'll notice nothing really happens for now, but we do get this really big, kind of overwhelming looking box here. Now, when we hit play, you'll notice that our once nice and subtle kind of acoustic guitar effect has now changed into an 80s lead present for an, a, um, an electric guitar. Now this is just the bare bone basics of how to use presents and there's a whole bunch of various presents that we can use just in this one mixer track and keep in mind um, there are all of these different ones over here that we can be um, replacing that one with so there's a whole bunch of stuff here to replace that with and of course you can change some of the audio levels and stuff here um, in this little uh, mixer settings window I suppose or settings box and I'm just gonna go and exit out of that now now because I'm using the free version of this of FL studio um, every what is it like 16 or 20 some seconds your sound will go out on this like the mixer present will um, <laughs> it will just go silent like flat out silent like it will just be playing like this And it will just go, you know, after a while it will just go silent. And don't worry, it only does that for a couple seconds. But the only, because this is the free version, and the only bad thing about that is, um, basically when you save your song, if your song, uh, or if the present has gone silent at the time you save it, um, that's how it will turn out in your song. So that's kind of annoying, but he just kind of has to strategize, I suppose, on how you save your song and export it, and uh, maybe just kind of wait to uh, play it back. See how, see how it's going silent right now? All right, we'll just wait a couple seconds, and there we go. Now it returns. So that's just kind of the uh, the very bare bone basics of how to use mixer tracks, guys, and apply them to your uh, to your various songs and such like that. So. I guess that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. This mini tutorial, this mini tut, I suppose. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, it helps you with your FL Studio musical creation processes. And uh, feel free to comment and rate on this video as well as you can subscribe to my channel for upcoming updates and future videos and such. And until next video, guys, this has been Rex Furry, and I will see you all next time.